Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. Rams basketball on WMIX and WMIXSports.com is powered by the official voice of Rams Athletics Community, First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Mount Vernon Rams basketball is also presented in part by Red Lake College. Save thousands on your college education. Log on to rlc.edu. Tyler Toyota and Tyler's Buick GMC. Totally Tyler's. The Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Winning Edge. See what they can customize at winningedgeusa.com. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac of Mount Vernon. And also by Banterra Bank. Banking with local style. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. Schmidt Ford of Salem. People's National Bank. Ford Square in King City Chrysler. You can count on us. And Bird Watson Drug of Mount Vernon. Two locations to serve you better. We take you to the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Tyler's, where Chris Hugo and Danny Zerwinski are standing by for the Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Mount Vernon Rams basketball starts now. It's home sweet home for the holidays for the Mount Vernon Rams as they return to Shagdon Gymnasium tonight. They will have the Waterloo Bulldogs. And this is your Landers Collision Center's pregame show on WMIXFM and WMIXSports.com. With Danny Zerwinski, I'm Chris Hugo. Glad to have you tonight. The final game before Christmas for the Mount Vernon Rams. We'll put a 9-1 mark on the line against a 3-5 Waterloo Bulldog team. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. Call 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. We'll have plenty to tell you about here on your Landers Center's pregame. We'll talk about the Waterloo Bulldogs. We'll talk about the Mount Vernon Rams. And we will talk about the game that was last night. And we'll take a quick break. We'll come back. This is Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. I love this time of year, time that we spend with our family and friends, the lights and decorations, the food, and just the feel of the season. During this season, there are more smiles, more thank yous, and a general feeling of kindness and generosity that is not present as often during the rest of the year. There's a feeling of calm and hope. My Christmas wish for each of you is that you take the time to help others and share the blessing of Christmas with others that you meet each day. From all of us at Community First Bank, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy Holidays! This is Mike from Tyler's in Mount Vernon, and our family's third generation is proud to bring to you the most innovative car, truck, and SUV store. We appreciate your business. It's the totally new, totally Tyler's, and it's totally for you. Happy Holidays from Tyler, Toyota, Buick, GMC. Exit 95, Mount Vernon, Illinois, or on the web at tylersbuickgmc.com. Buick GMC. Make that Rams fan in your life easy to buy for this Christmas. Winning Edge in downtown Mount Vernon has an amazing assortment of apparel and novelties. Rams gear is perfect for a stocking stuffer or gift wrapped under the tree. There's plenty of orange and black for the men, women, and youth in your life with sizes ranging from 6 months to 3X. See the new fashions and styles at 212 South 9th Street in Mount Vernon or shop from anywhere at store.winningedgeusa.com. Winning Edge wishes everyone a Merry Christmas. Bird Watson is celebrating 40 years of providing our customers with caring, compassionate personal service. Over the years, we have added services and products to ensure that we are meeting the medical needs of our customers. We are proud to announce that we're once again expanding our services and products to meet your needs. Our location at 3401 Broadway will provide dedicated and specialized pharmacy services. Our expanded scrubs and shoes, medical equipment, and supply offerings will be provided at our 1200 Main Street location. Bird Watson, specializing and expanding to provide our customers with better service and expanded product offerings. Find us on Facebook. This is Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. Shag that gymnasium tonight, WMIXFM, WMIXSports.com. With Danny Zerwinski, I'm Chris Hugo. Seth Gass back at our Mount Vernon studio tonight as the Rams battled the Waterloo Bulldogs. So delighted to be here with you this Saturday before the Christmas holiday as the Rams look to close out non-tournament play tonight against the Bulldogs. D.C., the Rams tonight looking for another win. They are undefeated here at home, trying to go to 4-0 before closing out 2014. And a 9-1 record, a big win last night on the road against Marion, and you hope that this one isn't a letdown as you return home. Number one, and not a letdown after last night. Number two, 
a game that happens on the first full day of Christmas break for both teams. And I think as coaches, you worry about the focus and the, and the intensity of your teams. And thirdly, there's not really a big crowd here tonight. There's really not that atmosphere that we're used to. Of course, this is Christmas party weekend per se. A lot of town, or really drive around town, a lot of establishments are having big crowds. So you have to sometimes make your own excitement in sports, and this would be one night. This would definitely be a night to create your own excitement for the Mountford and Rams. The home crowd is actually plentiful given the circumstances. Bigger crowd than I honestly thought would be here taking this one in tonight for the Mountford and Rams. Welcoming in a former Ram and C.J. Cruiser, head coach of the Bulldogs. His first visit here a couple of years ago did not work out so well. However, for the Bulldog team coming into tonight, some impressive wins along the way, but a tough tested team coming out of their Thanksgiving tournament where they played the likes of Altoff. Well, and you look at Edwardsville and also that, and, and you look at Waterloo so far they did not play a game last night they don't have a guy averaging in double figures the closest one is at 9.9 .9 points a game and it's Rick Wigon and he's averaging that 9.9 .9. other than that they don't have anybody else Ryan Acock averages 8.9 Max Schrader averages 6.9 but really nothing much after that and for Waterloo, they're going to have to probably play some pretty tight defense here after seeing the likes of Altoff, Edwardsville, Carbondale, Jersey already this year, but able to pull off three in a row, beating Freeburg, Triad, and Lovejoy in the last three games out. It's a Waterloo team that does return some starters from a year ago, a game that we saw on the road at, Alta, or at Waterloo. We'll talk more about it coming up here on your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Bigger, small, Landers fixes them all. Call 1-888-LANDERS. That's one triple eight landers We'll take a break and come back. This is Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. The golfer in your life just became the easiest to shop for with holiday savings at Rinlay College Golf Outlet. Make them a big hitter. Callaway X2 Hot Drivers are just $199.99. You're saving $130. That'll buy plenty of balls with the special holiday offer on Titleist Pro V1, Pro V1X Golf Balls. Only $39.99. Every golfer needs to look the part. All in-stock clothing is buy one, get one half off. Or find gift certificates available in any amount. Make it a Merry Christmas at Rinlay College Golf Outlet at the RLC Marketplace in Mount Vernon. Hi, this is Joy, Nina, Carol, Jim, from People's National Bank in Mount Vernon. All of us at People's National Bank would like to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We truly appreciate our customers and consider each and every one of you to be part of the People's National Bank family. So from our family to yours, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois since 1909, member FDIC. The Collision Center at Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac in Mount Vernon will get you back on the road quickly. Hi, this is Jeff Schmidt. Our body shop uses only brand name paints and materials with a state-of-the-art paint booth, which requires virtually no buffing. Our highly trained and experienced technicians have an impeccable reputation. We are a direct repair facility with many of the major insurance companies that will make your visit easy and hassle-free. Come see us at Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Don't let the high cost of auto insurance keep you from behind the wheel. I'm Shauna Armstrong with Page Insurance. We can help keep you legally insured with month-to-month -month coverage from Dairyland. With multiple ways to pay, no long-term upfront premiums, and the ability to choose your own due date. Dairyland could just be the coverage you need to keep you legal behind the wheel. And it won't break the bank. Call Page Insurance for a quote at 242-7000 or come see me on Crown View in Mount Vernon. Dairyland Auto Products are underwritten by a member of the Century Insurance Group. Back to Mount Vernon Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Back inside Shack Now Gymnasium tonight, Mount Vernon Rams Basketball. The Waterloo Bulldogs in town. This game obviously has the Rams as a favorite coming in. Rams are 9 and 1. They beat Marion on the road last night, 53 to 34. Waterloo comes in with a record of 3 and 5. This is your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. <laughs> Bigger, small Landers fixes them all. Call 1-888-LANDERS. That's one triple eight landers You can see recommendations, testimonials, what have you, or see their work for yourself at LandersAuto.com. Again, with Danny Zerwinski, I'm Chris Shuko. Seth Gass is at our Mountford and Studio tonight. Feel free to watch us online at WMIXSports.com. We will also find easy access to our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Facebook.com slash WMIXSports is where you will find the social media question of the week this week, which was... If you were starting a jersey collection, whose jersey would you purchase first? Pretty straightforward. We 
answered those questions on the Saturday Sports Show this morning. But as we roll into this pregame show and talk about this game that's going to be happening in front of us, we talked about it briefly in our first segment, talking about the Rams, talking about that game last night. It was a game in which the Rams came out shot hot early, were 5 of 5 from the field to start, had kind of the pedal down in the first quarter, never let up, ended up with a 19-point win on the road at Marion, which is always a tough place to play, especially in that Marion Junior High. The key for Mount Vernon going on the road to Marion, I know it's at the junior high, not at Cus Wilson. The fact you got off to a good start and you took that crowd right out of the game. And it was a loud crowd, a band, everything else going on down there last night. And for Mount Vernon to come out and play so well, very focused, that's important. Obviously, a conference game. Now, you're getting up for a opponent you see once a year. You see him in baseball. But there's not that vibe that you would have with Marion. And, of course, Mount Vernon, again, will have to sharpen their own swords up here tonight to get themselves ready. Well, and it should be an interesting battle here between these two teams. As we take a look at the Waterloo Bulldogs and the Mount Vernon Rams, we'll get to know them in your Ford Square, King City Chrysler starting lineups. That'll be coming up in about five or six minutes. We'll also hear from, well, I thought we'd hear from the Mount Vernon Ram drum line tonight. I do not see them. Of course, they usually take the floor just right prior to the national anthem, but hopefully they'll be here to add to the atmosphere and a nice crowd on hand. We talked about it, holiday parties, many other festivities going on tonight. Didn't know what kind of crowd we would see, but the fact that it is a Saturday night game, non-conference, a lot going on, and with Chaos Cage in full effect with their holiday theme, this could be a nice environment tonight for the Mount for the Rams to try to go 4-0 at home. It could be. I mean, there are some late arrivers coming in. It just doesn't have the loudness or the pizzazz that you would have maybe for a conference game, especially when it gets to January and February. I think for Mount Vernon, again, a type of game that to be very careful of. You want to stay focused. You want to stay into it. You want to stay on this one because you don't want to let Waterloo hang around. They're a team gaining confidence as the season goes on, but you don't want to do something as well as let Waterloo hang around all game. Well, and, and I think that's the thing, is the fear of that trap. You head into a holiday tournament. Effingham to top list Christmas Classic on the 26th and 27th, where, in my opinion, the Rams will probably be a favorite to not only contend in that tournament and bring home a trophy, obviously, but maybe even win a tournament championship, depending upon what they could do in Effingham County. Uh, obviously, don't want a trap game or a letdown here. Well, you have to look at the fact that Mount Vernon, if they're not playing in a first, second, or a third, fourth next Saturday night, then you have to think you have to be disappointed. I think Mount Vernon is no less than two and one after their three games in their pool next weekend. So I, you know, when you look at it, they should not least, at the very least, play in a third place or a first place game next Saturday night. Well, no doubt about that. We'll have all of the Rams games for you on WMIXFM, and unless something goes horribly wrong, we'll have video for you at WMIXSports.com where you can watch the games online this year. Greedy First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of high school sports here on WMIX. Always bank on your hometown team. Greedy First Bank, home of the one account featuring free checking and high yield interest. Member FDIC. You won't find a deal like that much in the other places. Find out more at comfirstbank.net as I'm just looking around the crowd and just a nice crowd on hand here tonight for these two teams. We'll see if we have a drum line. That'll certainly add to the atmosphere as well. Plenty of other games going on around the region today and into tonight as we take a look at a Bird Watson Pharmacy scoreboard. At Bird Watson Pharmacy, they've kind of changed some things around for your convenience. All of their home medical equipment and their scrubs and whatnot are now at their 1200 Main Street location. All of their pharmacy is at 3401 Broadway, where you'll be able to find two locations to serve you better as we take a look at your Bird Watson Pharmacy scoreboard. Highland and Centralia are going to overtime tied at 43. Oh. Carbondale beat Carterville 68-61. And Sisney and Grayville, and that one, the fifth place game at Conrad Allen. Sisney wins 56-54. Wayne City leads 32-30, I believe, or something like that. Two-point lead for Wayne City heading into the fourth in the third place game at the Conrad Allen. That's a look at some of your scores already today. We'll have more of those throughout the broadcast. We'll put a full scoreboard tonight for you on WMIXSports.com. For your pleasure as well. We're going to have the National Anthem coming up here from Shagnon Gymnasium. As they always stop the clock about a minute early, they're going to bring everybody over to the benches. And we're going to get out of here and take a quick break. When we come back on your Landers Collision Center Spring Game, it'll be your Fort Square King City Chrysler starting lineups. We'll take a break and honor America from Shagnon Gym. This is Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. 
fact, there are 10 pharmacies in the city of Mount Vernon alone. So how do you choose your pharmacy? Are the staff people friendly and the pricing reasonable? Are they knowledgeable about medication interactions? And do you feel they're willing to take the time to talk to you one-on-one? -on -one? If your answer is no, call Eric and the staff at Medicine Shop Pharmacy in Mount Vernon. They'll always take the time to talk to you and have the knowledgeable staff to help you and your family with all your health care needs. The Medicine Shop accepts most insurance plans. And if you don't have prescription insurance, our pricing is very competitive. If you feel like you pay too much for your medications, you very well may be. If you're homebound or want to save some time in your busy day, just give them a call and they'll come to your home or workplace at no extra charge. With all these convenient services and their willingness to serve you, what more could you ask for? Stop by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon, or give them a call at 618-242-8776. You'll be glad you did. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Every other incident, it seems as if someone says, you'll never believe what happened. Hi, this is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem. I assure you, Landers Collision Centers has seen and fixed it all. Whether your toddler got behind the wheel and backed into the trash cans, a kid at school thought it would be funny to take off in your son's truck and sideswipe a brick wall, or even if your ex took a major league whack at your truck windows, we can make it go away, and we certainly won't judge. As a direct repair facility for many insurance companies, we take care of just about everything. Even getting you into a temporary vehicle and offering free premium detailing for the life of your vehicle. That's the Landers difference. Top to bottom, big or small, Landers fixes them all. Come see us in Mount Vernon and Salem and ask us about free detailing for the life of your vehicle. Or call 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. This is Mount Vernon Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back, WMIXFM, WMIXSports.com, as we will meet your starting lineup tonight, presented by Ford Square and King City Chrysler. For Waterloo Little Bulldogs, coached by C.J. Cruiser, they'll go with number four, Sam Dodd, number five, Brad Lathup, number 11, Ryan Acock, number 22, Max Schrader, and number 23, Rick we got for the Mount Vernon Rams, familiar five tonight. Number three, Gilwan Nelson. Number four, Braden Fitzgerald. Number 11, Bryce Hunter. Number 15, Shantez Taylor. And number 21, Luke Wilson, as we're going to hear from the Mount Vernon Ram drum line. Gymnasium tonight for the Mount Vernon Rams and the Waterloo Bulldogs. That was the Ram drum line as they welcomed in the starting lineup tonight presented by Ford Square and King City Chrysler. For service without an appointment, it's Express Lane, Fast Oil Changes, and more 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Bottom of the hour here on WMIXFM, Mount Vernon, Mary and Effingham, a free service from Withers Broadcasting. It'll be go on Nelson for the Rams, Max Schrader for the Bulldogs. Rams will go right to left in their home whites with orange and black trim. The Bulldogs will go left to right in their away black with white numerics trimmed in orange. The official will tip the basketball, and we will get started with non-conference action a bit early tonight at 7.30 as this JV game got started at 6. 
Rams won that one and improved to 6-0 as the tip was tipped out of bounds. It was off of the Rams. It'll be Waterloo basketball in the front court. Side of the bounds off of the right sideline with 7.56 to play here in the opening quarter. Just in their way from Mount Vernon. Bulldogs with the basketball to the left. Good screen from the left side. Wegon trying to get to the basket. Throws off left wing for Acock. Back to Wegon up top. Now Acock is going to come around. He has the ball. Getting back to the circle. It's 7.39 to play in the opening quarter. No score yet. Off of the right wing. That's Schrader. Back to the top. Off the screen goes Wegon. Try the leading score. Pulls up from the left wing. Three and it's good. And the Bulldogs take an early three love lead. Good start for Waterloo. Long bus ride as they know. We know going back and forth. Great start for Waterloo to hit their first shot. Not a fun place to get to, but a fun place to be once you get there. 7-17 to go in the first. Rams trailing 3 to nothing on the Bulldog 3. Both teams' primary colors are orange and black, or black and orange, depending upon how you look at it. With 7-08 to go in the first. The home team, the Mount Vernon Rams, trail 3 to nothing. At the free throw line, it's Gilwan Nelson. Jump stop, pull up jumper, I should say fade jumper, no good. Tip back by Wilson, not there. Rebound will come to the corner. It's going to be tipped into the hands of the Bulldogs. Waterloo with the basketball. That is Ryan Acock into the front court. Stops top, throws off to the right side for Wegon. Make that Max Schrader. Now to Wegon up top. Nice pass to the left elbow. That was to Lathrop. Now back to the right side. Acock to Wegon on the left wing. 6.37 to go on the first. In case you're just joining us, Rams trail 3 to nothing. It's all presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. If you're tied to big corporate bank, you do have a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank is at home in Mount Vernon Dix, Woodlawn, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Bank. You remember FDIC. Welcome back to a turnover. As off the right came Hunter. Kicks over to Fitz. Thought about the three poles down. Tries to go baseline. And now we'll roll out around the perimeter with 6.15 to go in the first. Still a 3-0 ball game. Waterloo, that big early three by Rick Wiegand. Now Hunter looking to tie from three-point land near side. Good. <laughs> Yeah, even Stevens with three-pointers tonight. So far early. 5.59 to go in the first. WMIX Sports Mobile Studios driven by Tyler's. Why play the tiny financing waiting game? Become pre-approved right now. Apply online at tylertoyota.net. Totally for you, totally Tyler's. Off of the right wing. Looks like we are going to have a foul at, before the shot. Lathrop went to the basket with the left-hand dribble into the post and now goes to the line to shoot. No, not going to be a shooting foul. But they gave him continuation there for a moment. My apologies. It'll be an inbound underneath the basket. This will be Sam Dodd to inbound. 5.46 remains in the opening quarter. 3 0 mm -hmm. ball game. Mount Vernon Water. 3 3 three ball game as we're now tied. Mount Vernon Waterloo. Kind of distracted watching what the officials are discussing here in the paint as we await the Waterloo inbound. Seems to be some confusion as we await the inbound off of the Ram foul. It was on Bryce Hunter. It's his first, team's first, here in the first quarter. Okay. Here comes the inbound, left of the bucket. Looking for the lob play to Wegon. Off the right block, turnaround coming, and <laughs> I'm not sure. Yes. What happened? The Academy Award goes to Braden Fitzgerald. I saw a technical called on that Tuesday night in a ball game. Somebody flopped like that, a rarity, and Braden did a great job of selling the Oscar that time. Hunter wants the lead out of the corner. Three on the way, rims out. Rebound will be tipped out of bounds. Looks like that's going to be off of the Bulldogs. Should be Ram basketball. Good catch by the official underneath. 5.33 to play in the opening quarter. Tied at three. Rams will inbound left of the bucket on the baseline. Looked to the left wing for Hunter. Had the big three to tie it up. Now Braid wants an NBA three. No, rattles the iron, drops off. It'll go to, tipped around to the Bulldogs. Wegon's going to drop it back for Acock. Into the front court, crossover dribble, throws off to the left side. Good side step there by Schrader, looking to go baseline. Going to have it stolen away on the intercepted pass. Here comes Fitz in the front court, out racing everybody. Hands off in the paint to Gilwan. Sloppy pass. It'll be a turnover for the Rams. Fitz was our Tony Wilt State Farm player of the game last night. Who will it be tonight? Tony Wilt would love to help your family with all of their insurance needs. Find them online at TonyWilt.com. Look for the White State Farm Jeep around town or maybe go by and see Tony in his office in Mount Vernon as to the office, otherwise known as the post for Schrader. He's going to leave a layup long. Rebound with the Rams into the front court comes Fitzgerald. 4.45 to play in the first. Nice move to the basket by Fitz. Shot was off by a bit on the scoop layup, and now we're going to have a jump ball on the rebound. Possession arrow favors the Rams. 
Kind of a sloppy first quarter. Yeah, you expect that. Game like tonight, a lot going on. And this game has started off exactly kind of how we thought. Quick pass from Tess. You look for Fitz. Three on the way is no good. Glances off the front of the iron, rolls off the back, and now the rebound will go to Acock and into the front court. Come the Bulldogs looking to take a bite out of the Rams as Lathrop has it off of the right wing. Looks for Dodd inside. Instead, going to clear out traffic, and now Schrader will go to the right wing. Acock to the top for Dodd, who curled around. Back off of the wing. That's Schrader looking back for Wegon. 4-10 to play here in the first quarter. Tied at three. The Rams the Bulldogs. Offense optional so far. As out of the left corner will come Lathrop. Wegon up top. Good ball fake. Leans in the fits. No call that time. And now Ooh. the rebound on the shot will go to Wilson. That should have been a foul. One way or the other. Fitz will skip it over. Left side three coming is no good by Taylor. Rebound to Dodd. Ooh, a lot of one and dones here tonight. Or ones and done. A lot of bad shot selection early on. Not a lot of flow to this one with 3.45 to go in the opening quarter. 3-3. Three, three. This could change on the three. The lefty comes up long. Ryan Acock. Rebound will go to Fitzgerald. Still racing to the front court. At the circle. Goes back over to Taylor. Didn't have an open baseline. And now the basketball kicked out of bounds. It'll remain with the Rams. Ridden Lake College powers your video streaming, a nationally ranked community college that can save you thousands with smaller class sizes and over 100 degree and certificate programs. Your journey starts here. Apply online at rlc.edu. Pass out of the right corner. Good find at the elbow. Dribble drive by Gilwan. What a smooth look by Gilwan Nelson. Gives the Rams a 5-3 lead. Tough shot in the lane. Very contested. Gilwan, his growth and his improvement have not gone unnoticed. 3.17 to play in the first, 5-3 game. Rams up two, off of the left wing. That's going to be Dodd. He'll look for Schrader back to Acock. Excuse me, we got 3.07 to go in the first, 5-3 Rams on top. That's how many locations Committee First Bank of the Heartland has, five. Let them be the first to say welcome back to Personal Banking in Mount Vernon Dix Woodlong Island. Ball was stripped by Dylan Reeves, who had checked in. We got him trying to go to the basket in transition. They looked up the right side, and not much there being offered for Gilwan Nelson off the right block. And there was a foul, but it will not be a shooting foul. Looks like kind of a holiday crew here. Guys split apart from their normal, normal crew. Yeah, uh, these guys, I guarantee you, these three have not worked the game together. No, sir, as out of the right corner. Uh, Hunter three is short. Gilwan, the putback is up and in. A 4-0 run by Gilwan Nelson. Makes it 7-3. The Rams up four with 2.40 to play in the first. Off of the right wing into the corner. Big line will go for Aldrich. Now back to the top for Wegon. Left wing for Aycock. They're looking for somebody up top. It's not there. Go to the right wing instead to Big line. Now Wegon pulls up from three, and he will bring the Bulldogs 10-1. Amazing that Mount Vernon left the basketball in the hands of a shooter. The whole defense went backwards, and Wegon knocked it down. What a big shot for Rick Wegon, the leading scorer. Now a three from Hunter. No answer that time on the near side. Reeves will put back a short. Rebound will go to Troy Aldridge. The Bulldogs within one, seven to six, 202 to play in the first. Choppy, chippy, no flow. However you want to say it, it has been anything but aesthetically pleasing as this will be a reach foul on somebody. The play continued even though it was blown dead. And I guess play until the whistle blows twice. Yeah, a little reach in that time. And we gone, that's the bad part. That's two fouls on him, both of them, on plays in involving Fitzgerald's and won the flop. The foul that was called on Wigan, then Fitzgerald picks his pocket, and then Wigan gets another, so he'll have to go out. As the Rams will end down side of the bounds into the backcourt. Right of the circle, that's Braden Fitzgerald. Throws off to Blake Jones. Back to the circle for Fitz with a minute 45 to play in the first quarter. Six, make that seven to six. Rams on top. Taylor with it up top, looking to go off the right side. Gives back to Fitzgerald. He'll drop it off for Blake Jones. It's Jones, Reeves, Fitz. Taylor and Nelson for the Rams. Off the screen from the right side. Fitzgerald goes baseline. Scoops in the corner. No, it was Reeves now into the corner. As Taylor could no looker to Dillon. To the elbow. Left side. Here comes Gill onto the basket. He's going to shoot too. Unselfish and good ball movement by Mount Vernon on the interior that time. But the extra pass allowed Gill to get a look at the rim. 
That was one great play by the Rams as a team. Make your own great play when you open a Community First Bank free high-yield checking account that earns cash back. Just ask for one. Community First Bank, member at FDIC. Nelson makes the first, the one, if you will. Let's see if he can make the second. Give it a three-point lead if he can knock the back end down. 8-6 to score at the moment with 121 to play in the first quarter. Nelson to the line. The back end of two-in route is good. Quick start for Gilwan. Six of the nine. Checking in was Luke Wilson. Checking out was Dylan Reeves for the Rams. Inbound will come from Dodd. He will work it into Acuck. He has the ball in the backcourt with a minute 17 to play in the opening quarter. 9-6 is the Ram lead. Off of the right wing. Acock going to back it up. Left hand dribble as he switches hands. Aldridge off the left wing into the corner for Lathrop. Now he'll pull up from 18 up the top. Back iron, no good. Rebound will be tipped away. It'll go to the top to Lathrop. Shooter got the rebound off of the tip, and now up top is Acock into the right corner. Aldridge, good shot fake. Pulls up from inside, no good. Rebound underneath. We stolen away by Wilson. So the Rams come up with a big defensive board with 49 seconds to go in the opening quarter. 9-6 Rams on top. Looking to extend backdoor play. Wilson, yes. Good luck. Wilson moving without the basketball, and even better look to get the pass. This first point of the night, making it 11-6. The Rams are back up five with 33 seconds to play. Another 4-0 run for Mount Vernon as that is the right corner near the side baseline. This Sam Dodd, he'll throw to the top, Aka. Right corner for Lance Miller. Dodd with it on the left wing, 17 seconds to go in the first. 11-6 to score, inside the paint, Dodd's gonna kick back out to the left wing. Reversed around from Lathrop to Acock, into the paint back to Aldridge. Now inside the left wing, that is going to be Dodd. Leans in for the jumper, goes off the iron, no good. Four seconds left, rebound, Taylor. He'll come across the timeline. Pulls up for 25 at the buzzer, no. Tried to bank it in, but just missed. And we have reached the end of the first quarter. It's the Mount Vernon Rams 11, the Waterloo Bulldogs 6. This is Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. I love this time of year, time that we spend with our family and friends, the lights and decorations, the food, and just the feel of the season. During this season, there are more smiles, more thank yous, and a general feeling of kindness and generosity that is not present as often during the rest of the year. There's a feeling of calm and hope. My Christmas wish for each of you is that you take the time to help others and share the blessing of Christmas with others that you meet each day. From all of us at Community First Bank, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy holidays. This is Mike from Tyler's in Mount Vernon, and our family's third generation is proud to bring to you the most innovative car, truck, and SUV store. We appreciate your business. It's the totally new, totally Tyler's, and it's totally for you. Happy holidays from Tyler Toyota Buick GMC. Exit 95, Mount Vernon, Illinois, or on the web at tylertoyota.net. Totally Tyler. Toyota. Broadcasting live from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Tyler's, this is Mount Vernon Rams basketball. Welcome back to WMIX FM, WMIXSports.com has your streaming video. We head to the second quarter in Shagnon Gymnasium. 11-6, the Rams on top, as Waterloo will start the second quarter with the basketball. With Danny Sarwinski, I'm Chris Hugo, Seth Gass back at our Mount Vernon studio tonight. So glad you join us on the last Saturday of basketball before Christmas. Waterloo into the front court. It's going to be tipped away by Gilwan, recovered by Dodd, left of the circle. Let me go underneath. Good <laughs> jump stop there in the paint. As Max Schrader gets his first points of the night, he's the first person other than we gone to score. For the Bulldogs, 11-8. They're back within a possession. A lot of ball chasing that time from Mount Vernon defensively. A lot of gambling. See if it pay, a gamble pays off here on a three try. No good from the right wing by Fitz. And underneath the rebound and underneath a foul. It'll be on the Rams. It'll be their second. Mount Vernon, uh, both teams in that first quarter. And you look at three-point percentage, two for 11. Not the best so far in this game. 7.26 to play in the first half. At the half, we'll have your second chance on a halftime show. We'll talk about everything that was. Scoring in stats, Bird Watson Pharmacy scoreboard, and more. It's off the right side. Good head fake there on the right wing by number five, Lathrop. Dodd looking for the lob play inside. Schrader shot blocked. Late foul. Looks like it's on Gil on his second team start. Yeah, hack down on the arm, on the elbow. You can see it from here. And Gil Wan right now is two fouls and probably will have to sit as Mr. Reeve will come into the game. With five Jefferson County branches and responsive quality service for all of your accounts, Community First Bank would like to be the first to say, 
Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. I'm sure they'd also love to be the first to wish you a happy holidays. Free throws for Max Schrader, the only man in the game other than Wigan to score. Two shot foul, the second one is on the way. He missed the first and now it is 11-9. So Waterloo's back within two with 7.09 to play here in the second quarter. Bounce pass off the deep right wing, that's going to be Hunter. Looks back to Fitzgerald's at the circle. Now off to Hunter, three on the way, yes! Launched a three from the wing and knocks it down and Bryce Hunter has six points. That's a big six for the white, orange and black tonight. 6.49 to play in the second quarter. That is Ben Hules with the basketball. Traditionally a Clinton County name, but they must have let a few escape. There's a five point Ram lead. Sees Mount Vernon up 14 to nine. WMIXFM, WMIXSports.com. We are at WMIX Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Even the SoundCloud. It's off of the right wing, it's Hules. Looks back to the top, Dodd. Swings around to the left wing now for Lathrop. He's looking to dribble drive. Nice layup underneath. Oh, it rims out. Rebound will be fought for, and this is going to be a jump ball. It goes with the Rams. Good fight there by Luke Wilson. Give the Rams a basketball. Yeah, and, and that time there, the official probably let that one go a little too much, but both teams playing hard, but not a lot of shots dropping early on. Mount Vernon with the five-point lead. 6-11 to play in the first half, 14-9 Rams. Hunter thought about it from about the sideline. Now steps into a 23-footer. It's long, should have shot it from the sideline. As the rebounds tip to Dodd, Bulldogs have the basketball. It's 5.59 to go here in the first half. Red Lake College powers our video streaming as you're watching the left side. It's going to be a strong shot by Lance Miller. He'll miss, a foul on the rebound. And I would assume that this one is going to be on the ramp. Mount Vernon's taken 11 threes already in this first half and only made two. Don't quite have the hot hand that they had last night at Marion from beyond the arc in the first half. And now Hunter and Nelson have two fouls apiece. Uh-oh. As the inbound will come from Ben Hules, a six-foot sophomore. Into the right wing on the inbound. It'll be Max Schrader. Shakes the defender, rolls baseline, looking to the post. It's going to be thrown away. Fitz comes up with it across the timeline. Off the left post, comes inside. Nice reverse layup, no good. Tess got the rebound, puts it off glass. No. Oh, and now Waterloo the rebound. Yikes. Rams rushed that time and got the offensive rebound, but couldn't clean it up. 5.28 to play in the first half. 14-9 score. We'll have a Tony Wilt State Farm player of the game in our postgame show. For Tony Wilt around town in his office or online at TonyWilt.com and let him get you to a better state as we're going to have a foul on the play. Looks like, what, an illegal screen somewhere? No, we had a travel. Oh. Six turnovers on Waterloo that time. A move to the basket without a dribble. And Waterloo right now struggling offensively. Only one field goal in the second quarter so far. I think that would fit both teams somewhat here tonight. 5.13 to go in the first half. 14-9, Rams on top. Here at Shagnon Gym in the final home game of 2014. The Rams looking to go to 4-0 at home and 10-1 overall. Off the left arc, Fitzgerald's. Between the circles, it's Taylor. Now looking deep right wing for Jones. Back to Taylor between the circles with 4.55 to play. As Reeves is all underneath. Nice fancy pass to the right wing. It's going to be tipped over to Taylor for three up top. No good. Probably an easy post-up move to get you for sure two points. And the Rams squander it with a three trap. Well, the fanciness is fine, but you had a two-footer. If you get the ball and go up with it, you might get your shot blocked, you might not. Take the layup. Don't need any of that behind the back stuff underneath the rim. Ryan Acock with it in the front court. Looks off the left wing for Lathrop. Right hand dribble one time to Dodd now to the right wing. Acock back up top for Aldrich. Now to the left wing for Miller. Miller's gonna try to dribble drive and gets a nice layup along the baseline, left side. The Waterloo creeping back into this one. It is 14-11 as they're back within one possession. The WIX Sports Mobile Studios is driven by Tyler's. As Fitz is going to come from the near corner in front of us, gives it back to Blake Jones on the wing. They're over to the right wing with 4.06 to play here in the second quarter. 14-11. Rams on top. Browse Tyler's new Toyota inventory at tylertoyota.net and see how much you can save with the Tyler Toyota e-discount. Totally for you. Totally Tyler's. Jones had it on the right side. Now swung around. Left wing three on the way from Fitzgerald's is in and out. Rebound underneath will go to the much taller Lance Miller, who's 6'5". 
And now the Bulldogs go the opposite way. 3.40 to play. Second quarter action, 14-11, three-point differential. As Lathrop has it up top with the left hand. Off to the right sideline for Aldrich. Kind of a vanilla game so far. As off the right corner, or right wing rather, will come Dodd. He'll lose it inside. Should be a jump ball here, and it should stay with the Bulldogs. Whoa. Sloppy game, not a pace, favoring Waterloo right now. They've got Mount Vernon right now. If they get some baskets, they could really cause Mount Vernon some fits. Mount Vernon right now from the three-point line is colder than the weather outside. Probably just as frightful. As off of the right wing on the inbound, Dodd, or excuse me, Lathrop will tip it back to Aldridge. Now to the right wing, Acock into the corner, looking for Lathrop. Fighting against Fitz, will throw off to the right wing for Miller. Drops off Acock, off the screen, it wasn't there. Now swinging around in the reverse to the opposite side, it'll be Dodd. Trying to step into a shot, but not there. Right wing, it's Lance Miller with a left-hand dribble fighting against the Ram defense with 2.59 to play in the first half. 14-11 the score, Rams on top, and for how much longer? It's now Waterloo a little sloppy with the basketball. C.J. Cruz are going to tell him about it. Dodd with it on the left wing. Trying to right-hand dribble to the paint. Good stop by Wilson. Throws out to the left wing. Now Acock up top from Lathrop. Inside to Dodd. Shakes the defender, but is stripped. Good wingspan there yeah. by the Ram defender, Wilson. And now, Waterloo will have to re-inbound, and I would have to say, yeah, we're going to give a timeout here. Presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. And Dr. Eric Black and staff would love to wish you a happy, safe, and healthy holiday season. And anything but a pretty first half here for both teams. 14-11 the score as we get a little bit later into the second quarter. It is a little bit off. I mean, both teams are going at it. And I think Mount Vernon's settling way too much right now for perimeter jump shots. I think they're inability to work it inside. They passed out some layups and some shots on the inside. And I think they're settling a lot right now. Living off that fool's goal from last night and making all those outside jump shots. Rams fans, if you haven't found the time to stop by the new winning edge at 212 South 9th in Mount Vernon, now you can buy your gear online. Log on to store.winningedgeusa.com. Oh my, that's store.winningedgeusa.com. We talked to Pinkneyville Panther head coach Bob Wagner this morning on the Saturday Sports Show. And Bobby, there's a fat head of Bobby of just his head, and it is festive tonight. Find the picture on Twitter at WIX Sports. Three from the corner of the in, off the inbound is no good. Actually, a long two is what it would have been. And it's tipped out. The team rebound will go to the Rams. Probably not the – it probably is the play that Coach Cruiser drew up. I'm sure that's not how he wanted it next week. Yeah, it didn't work out. But not a bad shot within the offense, so – as now Fitz will come around, pulls up from 17, no good from the right side, rebound will go to Hules in the lane. 2.20 to play in the first half, 14-11 Rams trying to work it underneath, Waterloo is back within one. Good find, Lance Miller posts up, uses the height, and he has four in the quarter, it's 14-13. Well, the offense isn't working for Mount Vernon, it's starting to affect their defensive effort as well. Your community, your choice, your bank. With five locations and friends and neighbors on staff who understand your needs, Community First Bank likes to keep it simple. Simple three from up top from Fitz. No good. As the rebound still fought for underneath, finally Acock will come up with it. Went through a few five holes and finally picked up by the Bulldogs. Into the front court, right at the circle with a minute 45 to play in the first half. 14-13. The Rams in danger of trailing here if the Bulldogs can get a bucket. Right now, hanging on to a one-point lead. They will lead. Hules to the basket and one. Hules came out of the right corner. Good find on the bounce pass up the right post. And now it's 15-14 Bulldogs with their yep. second lead. Mount Vernon has settled way too much on outside jump shots. And because of it, they find themselves trailing now at this point. And it, it, it is a case where, again, I know that's a big part of their offense. But right now, it is not working for Mount Vernon. They need to get something else rolling here because the outside shots are not going. And one is good. A two-point lead for the Bulldogs. 16-14 with a minute 34 to play in this first half as the Rams have three points to their name in quarter number two. A minute 27 to play as this will be Taylor off of the right wing looking towards Fitzgerald's in front of the Bulldog bench. Gives back right of the circle for Taylor. Has Jones wide open left wing. That's the direction they'll choose with a minute 15 left in the second quarter. Taylor back to Jones. Skip pass. Three on the way for Blake. It's going to be long. Rebound out of the reach of the Rams. It'll go to Acock. He has the ball in the back court. Acock into the front court. Throws off left side for Aldridge. And now Aldridge Ooh. throws it away. Turnover in Waterloo. 
Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. The Grinch has stole any basketball abilities that anybody would have. And Waterloo back to within 16-14. Mount Vernon has one field goal in this second quarter. And a turnover to match. They have two turnovers and one made field goal now. That was a pass from the top that was intended to come right corner in front of us, and it slipped out of bounds. 49.9 seconds to go in the first half. We'll have a Bird Watson Pharmacy scoreboard at the, at the break. We'll recap some of the finals from around the region and games already played today. I'm not, floor inbound. I'm not certain if they shut the lights off, it wouldn't be better right now. You could absolutely be right. Across the timeline. Wow, the time I'll break line. it out. What you can do worse, we can do worse better. Oh, this is awful, for lack of a better term. Up the left side, the Bulldogs came across, got wild with the pass, goes out of bounds. On the left sideline, 41.7 ticks to go in the first half. 16-14, Bulldogs, Rams will inbound in front of their own bench. It'll be Reeves into Jones in the backcourt. Rams going to get it across. Left corner near the timeline. That is Sean Tess Taylor. Rams presumably would assume going to go for the final shot of the quarter of the half. Trailing 16-14 to the visiting Waterloo Bulldogs who are 3-5 and five overall and I believe nothing in two in the Valley. Rams meanwhile are 9-1 and one overall. They are 2-1 and one in the conference. Bulldogs sit at, or out top I should say, sits atop the conference at 3-0. and oh. Marion is 0-3. Right in the circle, that is Fitz with seven seconds. Going to make a move, trying to come via the wing. Going to lose the basketball. Picked up by Tez, left wing with three. Pulls up from 18 with two. Up the buzzer, no. And that is how your first half is going to end. The Waterloo Bulldogs, 16. The Mount Vernon Rams, 14. This is Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Don't let the high cost of auto insurance keep you from behind the wheel. I'm Shauna Armstrong with Page Insurance. We can help keep you legally insured with month-to-month -month coverage from Dairyland. With multiple ways to pay, no long-term upfront premiums, and the ability to choose your own due date. Dairyland could just be the coverage you need to keep you legal behind the wheel. And it won't break the bank. Call Page Insurance for a quote at 242-7000 or come see me on Crown View in Mount Vernon. Dairyland Auto Products are underwritten by a member of the Century Insurance Group. At Vanterra, we understand that banking is a relationship. It's a friendly face that knows your name, understands your needs, supports your goals. Vanterra offers a complete range of personal and business banking products with competitive rates and loans that range from small projects to multi-million dollar opportunities. We offer conveniences such as online banking, mobile banking, and direct deposit. For a strong community bank with exceptional customer service, Vanterra is a smart choice for your banking needs. Vanterra Bank, a proud supporter of Southern Illinois High School Sports. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. I had been suffering with carpal tunnel for years, just coping with the symptoms of tingling of my fingers and gradually getting worse to the total numbness of my hands. My fingers were so numb and swollen, I couldn't even bend them. It was waking me up several times at night, and I was exhausted all day. If this sounds familiar, you may be suffering from a condition called carpal tunnel syndrome. Dr. Ahn at the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois specializes in treatment of the hand and wrist and treats carpal tunnel as well as treatment of the shoulder and elbow. He performs a minimally invasive procedure on patients who fail to respond to non-surgical methods of treatment. Endoscopic carpal tunnel release is a surgical treatment used to minimize pain, reduce scarring, reduce therapy, and allows patients to resume normal activities in a short period of time. Endoscopic surgery is a highly effective treatment and has been used for more than 20 years. For an appointment, please call Dr. Ahn at the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois at 242 377 Seven, eight, or visit us online at orthocenter-si.com. Second Chance Auto in Mount Vernon offers great quality cars at bank rate financing. And that's great news. Who else in the area can offer that? For nearly 35 years, they've been helping people with good and not so good credit get a good vehicle at a good price. Just make your payments on time and you can save hundreds, even thousands on the total price of your vehicle. The selection has never been better, so don't get stuck this winter. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon or call 244 Four four five eight two. Second Chance Auto. Honest people, honest deals. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Second Chance Auto halftime show starts now. Welcome back inside Shagdown Gymnasium tonight. Here at halftime, the Waterloo Bulldogs with a 16 to 14 lead over your Mount Vernon Rams. This is your Second Chance Auto halftime show. Second Chance Auto has the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles priced under $10,000 in one location. It's all at Second Chance Auto. 
longtime proud supporters of the Mountford and Rams. We'll have your scoring and stats coming up in just a bit. We'll analyze what went right, what went wrong in the first half for both teams, and we'll have plenty more to talk about. This is your second chance auto halftime show, 1614 Waterloo, here at the break from Shacknon Gymnasium. We'll take a break and come back. This is Rams basketball from WYX Sports. Bird Watson is celebrating 40 years of providing our customers with caring, compassionate personal service. Over the years, we have added services and products to ensure that we are meeting the medical needs of our customers. We are proud to announce that we're once again expanding our services and products to meet your needs. Our location at 3401 Broadway will provide dedicated and specialized pharmacy services. Our expanded scrubs and shoes, medical equipment, and supply offerings will be provided at our 1200 Main Street location. Bird Watson, specializing and expanding to provide our customers with better service and expanded product offerings. The Chevy Year End Clearance Sale is going on now at Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac in Mount Vernon. Hi, this is Jeff Schmidt. We have huge savings and generous trading values. Check out our inventory of heavy-duty trucks equipped with the proven and reliable Duramax Turbo Diesel and Allison Transmission. Or check out our hot-selling lineup of fuel-efficient cars and crossovers. See us on the web at SchmidtChevrolet.com. No one can touch our deals at Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. I love this time of year, time that we spend with our family and friends, the lights and decorations, the food, and just the feel of the season. During this season, there are more smiles, more thank yous, and a general feeling of kindness and generosity that is not present as often during the rest of the year. There's a feeling of calm and hope. My Christmas wish for each of you is that you take the time to help others and share the blessing of Christmas with others that you meet each day. From all of us at Community First Bank, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Find exclusive audio on SoundCloud. This is Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. Welcome back inside Shagnon Gymnasium here at the half on your Second Chance Auto Halftime Show. Second Chance has the largest selection of pre-owns priced under $10,000 in one location. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Waterloo 16, Mount Vernon 14 here after two quarters of play in non-conference action. We see how it became that way with the scoring and stats of this one. Mount Vernon was 3 out of 10 for 30% from two-point range, 2 of 15 from the arc for 13%. The Rams go 5 of 25 from the field for 20%. Waterloo was 3 of 12 from two-point range, 25%. Six, 2 of 3 from two-point or three-point range, 67%. Waterloo goes 5 of 15 from the field in the first half for 33%. The Rams in the second quarter was 1 for 11 from the field. That was the only shot they made was a three-pointer. Free throw shooting, Mount Vernon 2 out of 2, Waterloo 2 out of 3. Rebounding went to Waterloo 16-13, and Waterloo had eight turnovers compared to Mount Vernon's three in the first half. Waterloo was led by Rick Wigan with six points. Lance Miller had four, Ben Hules three, and Max Schrader had three. The Rams had three players scored in the first half. Gilwan Nelson, six. Bryce Hunter, six. And Luke Wilson had two in the first half to give you a halftime score of Waterloo, 16. Mount Vernon, 14. Plenty more coming up on your second chance auto halftime show. We'll have a Bird Watson Pharmacy scoreboard and more to come. We'll talk about the first half that was and wasn't. This is Rams basketball from WMI Export. Fact. There are 10 pharmacies in the city of Mount Vernon alone. So how do you choose your pharmacy? Are the staff people friendly and the pricing reasonable? Are they knowledgeable about medication interactions? And do you feel they're willing to take the time to talk to you one-on-one? -on -one? If your answer is no, call Eric and the staff at Medicine Shop Pharmacy in Mount Vernon. They'll always take the time to talk to you and have the knowledgeable staff to help you and your family with all your health care needs. The Medicine Shop accepts most insurance plans. And if you don't have prescription insurance, our pricing is very competitive. If you feel like you pay too much for your medications, you very well may be. If you're homebound or want to save some time in your busy day, just give them a call and they'll come to your home or workplace at no extra charge. With all these convenient services and their willingness to serve you, what more could you ask for? Stop by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon, or give them a call at 618-242-8776. You'll be glad you did. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. 
Happy holidays. This is Mike from Tyler's in Mount Vernon, and our family's third generation is proud to bring to you the most innovative car, truck, and SUV store. We appreciate your business. It's the totally new, totally Tyler's, and it's totally for you. Happy holidays from Tyler, Toyota, Buick, GMC, exit 95, Mount Vernon, Illinois, or on the web at tylersbuickgmc.com. Buick GMC. Registration for spring classes at Rin Lake College is going on now. Rin Lake College can save you thousands of dollars and put you on the fast track to a new career or continued education with over 100 degree and certificate programs. Trained academic counselors will make sure you're on the right path, whether you plan to transfer to a four-year university or head straight into the workforce. Registration by appointment continues through December 23rd. Call 618-437-5321 or log on to rlc.edu. Rin Lake College. Your journey starts here. Back to Mount Vernon Rams basketball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to your second chance auto halftime show. 16-14, Waterloo leads the Mount Vernon Rams here at the half from Shagnon Gymnasium. We need to check in with the Bird Watson Pharmacy scoreboard. Happy holidays from Bird Watson Medical Equipment. Visit 1200 Main and save $100 on in-stock lift chairs now through Christmas Eve. Let's take a look at some scores from around the region. Back to Conrad Allen at fifth place. It was Sisney over Grayville, 56-54. Third place, Edwards County over Wayne City, 58-45. Altoff beat Bar Reeve, 78-62. Carbondale beat Carterville, 68-61. Centray over Highland, 59-46. First quarter scores, Fairfield over Johnson City, 26-8. Nashville over Benton, 10-8. Murfreesboro over Sparta, 17-9. Mount Carmel over Olney, 8-4, and El Dorado over Hamilton County, 14-9. 16-14. Rams trail the Bulldogs after the first half. Second Chance Auto has the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles. Priced under $10,000 in one location. Stop by their impressive lot and see about that bank rate financing at Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. The, the Rams can't have another quarter like they did in quarter number two if they're going to win this game. Now, man, Waterloo's gained confidence, and it's one of those deals where Mount Vernon has kind of let them hang around. Unless Mount Vernon comes out and puts this, stops this real quickly, and they're going to be around for the duration, it looks like. And that's the thing you have to look at is, Mount Vernon has messed around a little bit here, not shot the ball very well, kept throwing up shots from the outside. They're not dropping, and Waterloo's been able to pick apart slowly but surely to get into a two-point lead. We start the third quarter. Rams will start with the basketball. Left to right, they go in the second half. It'll be Fitzgerald's walking between the circles with the dribble left. As he hands off to Shantez Taylor. Taylor will dribble between the legs at the circle. Throws off deep left wing for Wilson. 7.45 to play in the third quarter. Rams with the basketball. Looking to maybe get a lead here. I think they would settle for a tie. As Gowan was looking to dribble drive. Throws off short corner for Taylor. 17-footer on the way. Rims out. Rebound. Nobody there. Wilson able to get to it somehow. Trying to fight for it out of bounds. I believe it'll be Wilson. Woo! Rough play. Wilson got it. And then was unable to keep his balance with the help of a black-shirted bulldog. Mount Vernon will pressure and try to speed this pace up a little bit. We got with a deep in the backcourt, trying to fight through the double-team trap, and now able to save it to Max Schrader. Up ahead to Dodd. He'll bring it across the timeline, met by a double-team, and he'll walk with the basketball. Yep. Little help from everybody before the whistle blew. So now the inbound will come near half court for the Rams. Side of bounds, 721 to play in the third quarter. 16-14, still the Bulldog lead as they outscored the Rams 10-3 in that second quarter. Fitz for the lead, no. Rims off the back iron. His three drivers from up top. Now scoops it back. Elbow jumper on the way from Luke is good. Mount Vernon needed that just to get the lid off the basket. More wishing than shooting going on lately with all the misses. 16 all with 6.59 to play in the third quarter. Community First Bank of the Heartland welcomes you back to personal banking. How about that one account? Find out more at comfirstbank.net. Community First Bank of the Heartland. One means more. It's free checking with high yield interest as that's for yeah. Fitz getting fouled. They caught Fitz that time trying to jar a charge, but uh, he had the old fourth grade YMCA play where you grab the jersey a little bit and pull. That was a good call by the official. 6.52 left. Third quarter action from Shagnon Jim. Inbound will come to the corner. Fitz is going to poke it into the lobby, and the Bulldogs <laughs> will re inbound. Ah, Fitzgerald's and Wigan are having a nice little one on one. 
If you want entertainment, you got your headphones on. Watch Fitzgerald's number four and 23 for Waterloo. Now off uh, <laughs> the right wing. Schrader's going to look to the post. Nothing there for Lathrop. And he will have to go back as we got to reset it to Acock up top. Off for the right wing. That's Schrader. Reverse around to the left for Lathrop. He's going to try to go off the screen. Gets to the basket. There's contact away from the basket. It was completely missed. But there will be a foul wow. shot at him. Wow. They're going to call. I guarantee it's going to irate Mount Vernon fans right here. And Wilson got the foul. And that's the second. I'm going to tell you right now, there was some rapping going on between Fitzgerald's, Wegon, and then Wegon got tangled up because Fitzgerald's holding. And Fitzgerald and Wegon went down and ran into Shantez Taylor. Woo! First free throw, no good by Brad Lathrop. I told you, if you got a headset on, watch Fitzgerald's and Wegon. They're going at it away from the ball, and it is a classic match. And now a free throw off the left. No good there. Still tied at 16 with 6.30 to play. Here in the third quarter, Fitzgerald's into the front court. Stops up top. Now continues to dribble off to the elbow. Pulls up at the free throw line. No good. Rebound underneath as Gilwan fights for it. Throws in the left corner. That's Taylor with the basketball. 6.19 to play in the third quarter. Rams trying to get the lead back as they get it to Gilwan off the left arc. Rams can't seem to find the right side of the floor at this point. As Fitz wants an NBA three, no. Worked last night, not going to work tonight. With 6.05 to go in the third. He's in too much of a one-on-one -on -one right now. It's Wegon wanting to play that. <laughs> Here they go again. As Wegon and Fitz battle back and forth off of the right wing. Now left elbow. Good scoop play to Schrader from Lathrop. Wegon all alone outside. Fitz closes in. That is going to be a an elbow into the defender. Fitzgerald <laughs> sends him flying, and now they're going to smack talk. Oh, fun at the old ballpark here, folks. Doug Creel's trying to get a timeout. Yeah. They're not paying attention. Finally, Doug gets a timeout. I mean, Doug mm -hmm. was yelling and screaming to get a timeout and just not cognizant of the situation. But Danny, like we said earlier, probably a minute into the first quarter, guarantee you that these three guys probably have never worked together before. Uh, and they, have, they can't have. I mean, you and I have seen two of these three quite a bit over the years and have never seen... Two of the three worked together at all, not no. to my recollection. And then the other guy who was assigned here by the South Seven, you know that it's one of those deals where these guys are uncomfortable, I believe, just looking how they're acting. And again, it's almost like a postseason game where officials get took together and officials get thrown into a mix and they don't know how to each other's going to call. Now, away from that, this game's getting physical and this game's getting rough and it's a case where right now, if these guys don't get this controlled a little bit, the rivalry in the other sport and basketball and baseball is coming around here, it's starting to get in tight here. And if things have got to get under control, we're going to have some issues in this game. 16-16. This timeout was presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. Dr. Eric Black and staff would love to wish you a happy, safe, and healthy holiday season. 5.47 to play in the third. Tied at 16. Waterloo with the basketball out of the inbound. Aycock will get it in deep. Right wing. That was to Lathrop, and now a travel. Shuffle the feet, it'll go the other way, and this is a case where talking about these officials not working together, the two of the th three that we have seen are all part of great crews that yep. they work with normally. And the other guy's a part of another crew that's not bad. So things aren't working out here right now. You, you develop a rhythm with other guys. As now off of the right, that's yep. Joe Nelson trying to dribble drive to the basket. He's fouled as before he gets to the post. Here comes the quick whistles to kind of settle things down a little bit. That'll be on Max Schrader. Left wing, Fitzgerald's with the basketball. 5.30 to play in the third quarter from the WIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Tyler's. Your best connection for your next automobile. Your best connection for three was Bryce Hunter there, but he came up short. Off the right side on the rebound goes Tess to the basket where he's fouled. How about that? Go to the rim, and if you don't make it, you at least make the defense get there, and then if you don't make it and get fouled, big deal. At least you get to the line to shoot two free throws. Too much settling for outside jump shots by the White tonight. First free throw is good by Shantes Taylor. That'll give the Rams the lead. 17-16. It felt like it was frozen for so long. Community First Bank of the Heartland has five Jefferson County branches with responsive quality service for all of your accounts, plus the one account with free checking and high-yield interest. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. 
Taylor makes both. His first two points of the night extends the Ram lead to two. It's 18-16. Waterloo trying to play quickly into the front court. We gone to the basket. Mm. Layup good. We gone. He gone. Layup quickly. Mount Vernon struggles. He fights to get two points. He goes coast to coast in about three seconds. As Wegon went off of the right block for the easy layup, it's like he parted the defense. 5.46 to play in the third. Rams with the basketball into the front court. Right wing, that was Hunter, goes back to the left side, Taylor. Looking off underneath on the back door cut by Gilwan, tries to shake the defender on a head fake to the basket. He's blocked cleanly, I thought, but he's fouled. Yeah, third one on Dodd. Third one on Waterloo of the quarter as the officials have gathered and decided to check the P's or the non-P's in the whistles to get things going. Video streaming on WMIXSports.com is powered by Rinlake College, who offers over 100 degree and certificate programs for thousands less. See which is right for you with full descriptions at rlc.edu. First free throw good makes it 19 to 18. 4.45 left to play in the third quarter as Nelson's looking to extend it to two now. This is a grinder kind of game. It's going to take a grinding effort to get through it. S something all right. 4.44 to play in the third quarter. Bulldogs with the basketball. Quickly across the timeline, Wegon and Fitz still matched up, although Fitz is kind of the point man right now. 4.35 to play in the third. Wegon, the pass to the left side. That's going to be a quick touch foul as Strontez Taylor leapt out of control, trying to tip the ball away from Aycock. And now it will be a foul on the Rams. It'll be a re-inbound off the side out of bounds for the Bulldogs. So Aldridge will check in for Waterloo. It's Aldridge, Lathrop, Wigan, Acock, and Schrader. For the Rams, it is Fitzgeralds, Nelson, Wilson, Hunter, and Taylor. Left side on the sideline, that's Wigan. 4.22 to play in the third quarter. 20 to 18 the score. Rams up just two. May not get to their average of about 56 tonight. Nice head fake by Schrader. Throws outside to Icock into the corner. Aldridge wants a three. It's good. Yep. Waterloo on top, 21-20. Hit in the corner. Good ball movement by Waterloo. Found him open, and Mount Vernon could not move as quick as the ball movement was by Waterloo. Now down one with 3.57 to go in the third. Right sideline, that is Taylor trying to work his way to the elbow. Throws up top for Wilson. He'll hand off to Fitzgeralds. Braden trying to get past the defender we got. Screen from the elbow, allows a three on the way from Braden, no answer. Rebound underneath will go to Schrader. Now left side, good pass over there to the far sideline. That is going to be Lathrop who dribbles through traffic. Picked up its dribble, however, dangerous spot. Now finds Wigan, NBA three, no. Rebound underneath to Nelson. He was gonna be fouled from behind by Schrader. Well, this is, uh Quite an interesting matchup. Wigan and Fitzgerald's have going on as far as matching it up and trying to see who can battle the most. 21-20, Rams trailing. 3.18 to play in the third. Front court action. Right sideline, that's Nelson to the top. Wilson, deep left wing. Taylor thought about the three. Goes to the basket. Slight runner. It's good. 22-21. Go to the rim. In this mystery. It's worked so far. As Wigan has it, he'll throw left of the circle now. That was Acock back to Wigan. Now into the right corner. Schrader looks at the top. It's intercepted by Taylor. Taylor, I think, was poked in the eye. Lost the basketball. Easy play to the basket for Waterloo. Good pick up there on the defense by Wigan. Threw it around. I think that was Aldridge who came up with the bucket. And it'll give the Bulldogs a 23-22 lead. Well, right now, this is... Dyer. I mean, Mount Vernon has got to maybe get an edge about themselves that they don't didn't have. And Waterloo's not going away now. They're going to be in this one for a while. Just pardon me, that was Schrader with the bucket. But the other thing you have to look at is Mount Vernon's not shot very well and they're still only down one. There's a lot to be said for that. As Wilson had it off the left arc, Bryce Hunter's had a decent night so far. Throws off to the right wing for Fitzgerald's with 227 to play in the third. Throws off to the right sideline for Nelson. He looks across the way, and it's going to be reversed around left side for Taylor. Backdoor cut, Gill wants to get past the right sideline. Going to be Hunter. He'll dribble drive basket. His shot blocked. Rebound will go to Wigan. He's going to try to get fancy and spin around the defender and almost lost control. 
Acock throws ahead to Miller. He's going to drive against the defender from the corner. It goes out of bounds. It'll be Malford in basketball. Sloppy play from Waterloo that trip. Well, great idea, but his left hand can't drive him around where he wants to go. For the turnover. Sorry. From hoodies to t-shirts, awards, promotional items, koozies to bags. Winning Edge can customize just about anything to suit your needs. Stop by and see them at 212 South 9th or log on to winningedgeusa.com. Log on to a runner from the baseline as Fitzgerald gives the Rams a 24-23 lead to Buster Ryan. First points of the game. It's kind of a stat you're not acclimated to saying or hearing in the second half. 137 to play in the third, 24-23, Rams by one. Is now off to the right side of the corner. That was Schrader looking for a week on. That's going to be a foul on Fitz. Matt will bring out the Bronx cheer from the Waterloo faithful who made the trip from Monroe County. Long trip it is. It's a fun trip, though, when you get from Waterloo. I like Waterloo. It's a good little oh, town. Nice, oh, yes. Nicely built school. Clean community. Yeah. If that makes sense. Lots of good things to do over there in the Metro East area. The four-lane preference of mine takes me probably out of the way a little bit. As opposed to taking 15 all the way over. Most of the way. 120 to play in the third quarter. 24-23. Rams up one. Waterloo trying to get the lead back. Acock three on the way. It's going to be long. Rebound underneath. We tipped around. Taylor will come up with it. Deep in the backcourt. Taylor trying to battle through the trap with 107 to play in the third. Works it left corner near the timeline. He'll find Fitz right to the circle. We'll drop below the minute mark here. We appear courtesy of Community First Bank of the Heartland. Five Jefferson County branches with responsive quality service in the one account. As Fitz tried to draw the foul on the three, he'll chase down his own rebound in the left corner and get kind of get a break there as he'll run to the basket. Shot blocked by the taller Miller. Miller has probably about seven inches on Fitzgerald's and just swatted it away. Bulldogs into the front court off the rebound. 38 seconds to play here in the third. It is 24-23. 1-3-1 now by the Rams. Rams up one, 28 seconds left. Right sideline, this is Wegon. He's matched up this time. I'll switch it off the. 20 seconds left, Wegon throws off to the left side. That's Acock with the basketball. Back to Wegon with 14 seconds. We near the end of the third quarter, 11 seconds to go. Rams are gonna force the turnover, tipped away with eight. It's gonna be Gilwan. Two on one to Reeves, slide up near the buzzer, good. It's 26-23, two seconds left. And the inbound is going to be tipped away. After three quarters, the Mount Vernon Rams 26. The Waterloo Bulldogs 23. This is Rams basketball powered by Beauty First Bank. Second Chance Auto in Mount Vernon offers great quality cars at bank rate financing. And that's great news. Who else in the area can offer that? For nearly 35 years, they've been helping people with good and not so good credit get a good vehicle at a good price. Just make your payments on time and you can save hundreds, even thousands on the total price of your vehicle. The selection has never been better, so don't get stuck this winter. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon or call 244-4582. Second Chance Auto, honest people, honest deals. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. I love this time of year, time that we spend with our family and friends, the lights and decorations, the food, and just the feel of the season. During this season, there are more smiles, more thank yous, and a general feeling of kindness and generosity that is not present as often during the rest of the year. There's a feeling of calm and hope. My Christmas wish for each of you is that you take the time to help others and share the blessing of Christmas with others that you meet each day. From all of us at Community First Bank, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Watch the Rams online at WMIXSports.com. Powered by Red Lake College. Shagna Gymnasium as the Rams lead the Bulldogs by three. It's 26-23 with Danny Serwinski. I'm Chris Hugo. Seth Gass back at our Mount Vernon studio tonight. You can watch us online at WMIXSports.com. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Bulldogs start with the basketball. They move right to left and they're away black with orange and white trim. It's up top. It's Wega. Left wing kickoff. It'll be Acock into the corner looking for Miller. It'll be lost out of bounds. Big turnover here for the Bulldogs. It gives the Rams the basketball with a three-point lead. Forced error. Mount Vernon found their way in that third quarter. Inside, then outside. The inside starting to open up a little bit. And Mount Vernon's got to feel better about that. See how the Rams can do here. Half-court defense for the Bulldogs. 
It allowed Blake Jones to get it across with no problem. Throws off the left side for Shantez Taylor on the wing. He's trying to dribble into the paint. Kicks off. Wide open was Jones. Back to the right wing. Fitz. Not going to matter as Fitzgerald is going to back it out. 7.30 to play in the fourth quarter. On what feels like a second quarter score of 26-23. Right corner Jones receives a pass from Taylor. Looking into the paint for Reeves. Going to be tipped away. Waterloo forces the turnover on the paint tip. And now here comes Acock across the timeline. Into the corner for Wegon, leading scorer for the Bulldogs. Rams are going to tip it away now. Fitz got a hand in there. Dodd gets the last lap and tips it back to Wegon on the left wing. Left of the circle now, Acock with the ball. Back to the left corner for Wegon, trying to go underneath to Dodd. It'll be tipped out by the Rams. It's not bad defense. Mount Vernon defensively starting to figure out a little bit what Waterloo likes to do. If you're tired of big corporate bank, you do have a choice in Jefferson County. Beauty First Bank is at home, and Mount Vernon Dix Woodlawn and Ina is on the inbound. Great find out of the short corner in the near side in front of us as Wegon went to the basket, missed his shot, should have been a bunny. Yeah. But now goes to the line to shoot two. I and that's on one of those deals where you fell asleep. Teams that don't see each other very often don't know a lot about the inbounds plays. Alderloo got a quick one there. Not hard to fall asleep on a night like this. Just not a lot of energy in this one. 6.55 left to go in regulation. 26-23 is the Ram lead for now. As Wegon misses the first, he has another on the way. Actually, misses the first now. Boy, he was, we waited long enough. Felt like he shot about three or four. Well, he probably should shoot a little quicker. On the bright side, DC, I can see the future. As we wait the back end for reels this time. Second one's good. Had he missed that one, he'd have got a third. What Mount Vernon was in the lane too soon. 26-24, 6.48 to play in the fourth quarter. We'll have your Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac postgame show coming up after this one where we'll have a Tony Wilt State Farm player of the game and a Bird Watson Pharmacy scoreboard. As Luke Wilson awaits to check in at the next dead ball, right in the circle, that's Fitz. Left hand dribble along the volleyball line, throws off to the sideline left for Hunter. Into the paint, here comes Gil onto the basket underneath by Reeves. Reeves is blocked as he goes up. Dylan will go to the line to shoot two. Go inside. That's where this game will be won. I've said that for two quarters. Mount Vernon's starting to figure that out. As Reeves is at the line, shooting a two-shot assessment with 6.27 to play here in the fourth quarter. First free throw is good. Dylan has the last three Ram points trying to make it four. He closed out the third quarter with a nice post-up move with about two seconds left, looking to make it a four-point game as he'll knock it down. Big possession here for Waterloo. I think if they can't get a bucket here and keep it to two points or one with a three, and Mount Vernon were to go down the other end and score, this game would swing dramatically. 6.20 to play in the fourth. 28-24 score. Right of the circle, that's going to be Acock. Looking to the near side, and out of the corner comes Wegon. Still some contact between him and Fitzgerald. Right wing, that's Acock into the corner. Ram faithful upset as opposed to move out the right block is no good by Dodd. Rebound will be the Rams with 6.03 left to go in the floor. Well, they've been going at it all game. And they've been jawing and they've been physical and they've done it all and it keeps going here. Braden with the basketball, throws off to Hunter. He had a big first half. Back to Hunter from Fitzgerald's in the left corner. Bounce pass to the right wing. Taylor's going to give it back to Fitzgerald's. 5.36 left to play here in the fourth. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Hunter gets a skip pass, tip three. Underneath, nobody there for the rebound. Rams were unsuspecting up the tip, and that'll be out of bounds. Looks like they'll get the break and keep the basketball. Huge break. Mount Vernon needs a touch on the inside somewhere. Gilwan Nelson would be a prime target here. And that's who it's going to go into, mid-post, and he's fouled before he can get to the hoop, but that'll be the 16th foul on the Bulldogs. 5.26 left to go in the fourth quarter, 28-24, Rams on top. You can watch us online at WAXSports.com, powered by Rin Lake College, who can save you thousands on your collegiate education. Here comes Gilwan into the paint, runner is soft, rebound will go off the right side to Dodd. Here come the Bulldogs, 5.20 to go in the fourth, 28-24 is the Ram lead. 
Kick it over to the left side. That will be Acock. Now back to the right as they reverse around to the corner to Schrader, who works in the dive, left it short. Had a jumper just inside the free throw line. Barely glances off the front iron. Rams go the other way on he the rebound. He was so wide open, he didn't know it. As Hunter tries to go around to the left corner, now as his shot was short, he'll fight for the rebound underneath. If it's a jump ball, it's bound for the basketball. Woo! This offense, or lack thereof. And C.J. Cruiser wants a timeout for all of us. This timeout is presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. Dr. Eric Black and staff wish you a happy, safe, and healthy holiday season. They're located at 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon, or find them online at mtvernonhealth.com. That's mountvernonhealth.com. Full timeout by the Bulldogs, who trail 28-24 here in the fourth quarter from Shagnon Gymnasium. WMIX Mount Vernon, a free service from Weathers Broadcasting, but right now, Ooh, what a second half it's been. And it's not been pretty. And it's not going to get him prettier the rest of the game. It's going to be ugly. And uh, right now, it's it's a case that Mount Vernon can go inside to get Nelson a touch. I think they got to leave the outside stuff alone. I, they're not hitting any shots. And I think Waterloo hopes they keep doing that because that allows them to box out and then they can get down to the other end and they can get their offense going. But I think, again, if Mount Vernon gets this game to six or eight points, it's kind of like having a 12 or 14 point lead as in this kind of game that is close as it is. We're in the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios driven by Tyler's who may have two new locations, but they are still your best connection for your next automobile. Find them just west of Interstates 57 and 64 in Mount Vernon and worldwide at tylertoyota.net and tylerscars.com. Totally new, totally for you, totally Tyler's. Inbound out of the box set, right of the bucket on the baseline. It'll be Taylor. Nothing there. Going to lob it into the left wing for Hunter, who gives it to the circle. That's Fitzgerald's. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We're on Instagram as well. Find us on Facebook. Find a full scoreboard later tonight, as well as archive broadcasts and a schedule at WMIXSports.com. 440 left. Fitz with it off of the right sideline at the wing. Left hand dribble turns back the opposite way. Hands off to Hunter. High ball screen up top. Looks to the left side. Inside the arc is Wilson. Rams are content with maybe flexing out some clock here with 4.23 to go in the fourth. 28-24 the score. Rams on top, but a huge turnover underneath. It was tipped away and intercepted, I should say, by Max Schrader. And now Acock with the ball. Midway through the fourth. 28-24. Rams on top. Looking to move to 10-1 before the Effingham to top of this Christmas Classic. That'll come your way on December 26th and 27th. We'll have all of the Rams games here on WMIXFM with video at WMIXSports.com. Acock with the rock, looking to get to the right wing. Throws off into the corner for Schrader. He's trying to fight off the defender. Nelson, who tips it out of bounds off of the fan. It'll remain Waterloo basketball. Three forty-seven to play. As it will be inbounded, a lob back to the timeline for Acock. Three forty-four to go. Twenty-eight twenty-four. Rams on top. Trainer off the sideline. Going to come back between the rings. That is Acock again. Going to have it tipped away. As out of bounds, that'll go, and it'll go back with the Rams again. This is where Waterloo will get more tentative, understanding the situation down four, knowing this possession, they can't get down any farther. Acock will lob into the right wing. As they look to go back into the corner now for Schrader. He'll fight off a double team. He'll be bailed out by a timeout. This timeout's presented by the Medicine Shop, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Dr. Eric Black and staff for a happy, safe, and healthy holiday season. 3.25 to go here in the fourth quarter. 28-24 is the Ram lead. It's a 30-second timeout. They're going to talk it over and try to work out a play off the inbound, try to put together some half-court offense here. Yeah, they got, they, this is important. You can see C.J. Cruiser over there understands the significance of this possession like we've talked about, that they can't, as in Waterloo, get down by six or more. I think this is where the stopping point is in this game for them. Coming out of the timeout, it'll be Bulldog basketball. As the Rams lead Waterloo, 28-24. 3.25 left in the fourth quarter. With Danny Zerwinski, I'm Chris Hugo. Back at the Balfordon studio is Seth Gass. 
as it's going to be deep into the backcourt now as Waterloo will have to bring it across. That is Ryan Acock, a six-foot senior, and this will be tipped out of bounds again. Rams are claiming it's their basketball. The officials say otherwise it will return to Waterloo. As uh, the fans are encouraging the players here tonight. 3.17 to play in the fourth. Acock with the basketball across the timeline. Looking to work over to this left side. Look. Acock slid that time, and it's a travel. Nope, a legal screen. Oh. Yep, number five was setting a legal screen. I was watching the feet. And now my big offensive possession of Mount Vernon to eke one out here. Yeah, it is with three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. 28-24, Rams on top. In the right corner, that's Fitzgerald's with the basketball. Left hand dribble trying to get to the top of the key. Instead goes circle. Backed up there by the defender, Lathrop. Left side is going to be off of the knees of Nelson. He'll recover, trying to get past Dodd. And there's a foul on Sam Dodd, the 6'4 senior. And to the line for the one and bonus will go Gilwan Nelson. Now, what did I say? Give it to Gilwan. They don't have anybody to get Gilwan trouble. Nobody at all. That'll be five on Sam Dodd, who fouls out with no points in the game. <laughs> Big free throws. Boy, they are, aren't they? types of free throws that might make you a Tony Wilt State Farm player of the game. Tony, glad to help your family evolve their insurance needs. Give his office a call. Find him on the web at TonyWilt.com or try to find the white State Farm Jeep around town as I jinx Nelson. He misses the first, won't get another. Rebound to Waterloo. Acock will get across the timeline. Throws off to the left wing for Schrader. Back to the right. We got looking to go inside. His pass or a shot attempt, whatever you want to term it, was blocked out of bounds by Bryce Hunter, and it'll be inbounded left of the bucket now by Acock. He'll look to get it in. Able to find Miller. Or thick line, rather. And now Acock down. Lost the basketball, and re it'll be recovered. Big line actually touched the baseline. And now Waterloo gets a timeout call. Here's the problem with that. Big line actually touched the out-of-bounds line with the basketball as he slid. The ball hit the black. But the Bulldogs get a timeout about a second later. It is well, what it is. You can't let that happen. Mystifying, that's for certain. Christmas <laughs> magic happening here at Shagnon on that. It's Christmas something. With 2.22 left to go in the fourth quarter, I think if you're the Rams right now, not only are you happy to be up four, you're happy that you're in a position to eke out a win here tonight and be able to work on some things going into the Christmas Classic at Effingham. Well, it, it is something you got to work on, and it is not what Mount Vernon envisioned coming in, but my goodness, not pretty, but they might be able to get it done. Eric Black and his staff at the Medicine Shop Pharmacy wish you and your family a very help, happy and healthy holiday season. Stay well. Do so by visiting them at 2339. Broadway Street in Mount Vernon, 628-64. 2-2-2 left in the fourth quarter, 28-24 the score. Rams are up by two possessions. Deep left wing, that was Wegon looking into the corner for Lathrop. Back to Wegon. Swings it around to the deep right wing for Acock. Back to the left side. Wegon, NBA three. Yes! Woo! Big three by Rick Wegon. And it's 28-27. Well, so much for having a comfortable four, six-point lead. No kidding. 1.57 to play in the fourth. Rams only up one to the Bulldogs. Left sideline, that is Sean Tess Taylor. He's looking for Fitz. Now trying to dribble through traffic. Scoops off in the left corner, finds Hunter with 1.44 left to go in the fourth quarter. 28-27. Rams up just one. Community First Bank of the Heartland brings you the action each and every night here on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. They're the home of the one account, featuring free checking and high yield interest. And now a hard foul from behind as Fitz will go to the line to shoot two as he misses the runner. Well, he got to the rim. I've been saying that since the second quarter. If Mount Vernon can get to the rim, that's their advantage in this. A minute 28 left in the game, or regulation in this case. Fourth quarter action from Shagna Gymnasium. 28-27 the score. Fitz going to try to extend it to a two-point lead if he can knock down these shots from the stripe. As his first one's on the way, it's good. 
Makes it 29-27. Trying to extend it to a full-blown three with his second from the free throw line. Late in the fourth. Second was good. 30-27. to The Rams up a tray. Fitz has four on the night. Across the timeline, that's going to be Acock with the basketball. Looks off to the left of the circle for Wiegand. He's dangerous at the volleyball line. Throws back to the circle for Acock. A minute 13 to go in the fourth quarter. 30-27 to the score. Rams up three. Underneath all alone, Schrader waits for the defense to clear. Catching up, though, and blocking the shot, but sending Schrader to the line is Luke Wilson. That's a good look by Waterloo. Patient, able to get the open look. Wilson had to foul. And now with a minute seven left to go in the fourth quarter, it's 30 to 27, three-point game here late in the fourth. It's to the line is Schrader. He'll make the first. Both teams have struggled somewhat with free throws tonight, but that's a big one there. Makes it 30 to 28, back within two. Can make it a one-point game again with 67 seconds left. As the second free throw is no good. Rebound to go to the Rams. They have a big possession in front of them. In the backcourt, Braden Fitzgerald. As the clock drops below the one-minute mark to go in the fourth quarter. Fitz trying to get around the defender. will get the foul on Wigan. And Edelson Fitzgerald's to the line for the one in bonus. No, well, going to win it. This is the time. This is, not the, this is not the guy Waterloo wants to put on a free throw line either. Always bank on your hometown team. Community First Bank, home of the one account, featuring free checking and high-yield interest. Remember, FDIC. It's Community First Bank at the Heartland. You can find them online at comfirstbank.net. At the free throw line, Braden Fitzgerald's up to, looking to make it four with 55.7 left. So make the first. 31-28, looking to make it 32. As the lead would be Fitz's jersey number late in the game. The Rams are back in action on December the 26th. They will play Brooks Academy at 1 p.m. at the Effingham Christmas Classic. Second one good, 32 to 28. 54 seconds left to go in regulation. Acock across the timeline, gives to Wigan on the left sideline. Throws back to the right wing for Acock. Back to the top, Wigan. He wants a three, big if it goes, no good. Rebound underneath to Lathrop. He will save it up top, but he'll save it to a Ram, and that's gonna be Taylor across the timeline. The Rams playing a little quickly here. Could be in trouble, but bailed out by a foul that'll send yep. Gilwan to the line. Mount Vernon is going to survive. Glad well, your Spencer Lake Cadillac postgame show coming up after this one. 34-23 in Broadway in Mount Vernon. They will service any make or model. And schedule your service appointments online. 35 seconds left. Gilwan at the stripe. Looking to make two. Will make the first. 33-28. See if he can make another. Second one is good. 34-28 as Nelson makes both free throws. Six-point game here from Shagnon Jim. Big three on the way if it goes. No good. Off the back iron Lathrop. We're going to have a foul on the rebound. And this Mount go will way. survive. So the Rams will improve to 10-1. and one. The Bulldogs will fall to 3-6. and six. See if Nelson can make two more. First free throw is no good. Up six, looking to make it seven, looking to make it a three possession ball game. A 24.7 ticks to go on the fourth quarter clock. Always bank on your hometown team at Community First Bank. They're never far away with five Jefferson County branches with responsive quality service for all of your accounts. Find them at Mount Vernon, Dix, Woodlawn, and Ina. One means more, Community First Bank. Second free throw, no good. Stays two possessions. 22 seconds left across the timeline. Races Max Schrader to the top. Skip pass to the left side. Acock, no room for a three. Up top, here comes nobody. It's going to be weak on. Long two on the way, unaware where he was on the floor. Shot wasted. Rebound to the Rams with nine seconds. And the Rams are going to win this one as the Ram fans get on their feet. 34-28 going to be your final score as the Rams are 10-1. We'll come back and tell you all about it in your Smith League Cadillac postgame show. This is Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Bad luck. Some people were just born with it. 
Hi, this is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem. We all know that someone who has that cartoon cloud hanging over their head getting rained on whenever the sun is out. The full moon is their worst enemy, and if something can be spilled, dropped, broken, tipped over, or lost, it will somehow happen to this person. Landers Collision Centers has seen it all. Whether you turn the wheel too sharply backing out of your garage and tore the front end off of your vehicle, crunched your undercarriage running over a curb, or clipped your fender pulling into the ATM, Landers Collision Centers has your back, and we certainly won't judge. As a direct repair facility for many insurance companies, we take care of just about everything, even getting you into a temporary vehicle while we restore yours. That's the Landers difference. Top to bottom, big or small, Landers fixes them all. Come see us in Mount Vernon and Salem and ask us about free detailing for the life of your vehicle. Or call 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. I'm so tired of all the fees my bank keeps charging me in my checking account. Sounds like you need to join in on my New Year's resolution. Oh yeah? What's your New Year's resolution? I'm going to People's National Bank to open a free checking account so I don't have to pay to have a checking account. Is it really free? Yes, and you even get to choose from three free checking accounts, including interest and rewards. That sounds great. This is one New Year's resolution that I'm going to keep. People's National Bank, proudly serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Qualifications apply to earn free checking rewards. Member FDIC. The golf Offering your life just became the easiest to shop for with holiday savings at Rinley College Golf Outlet. Make them a big hitter. Callaway X2 hot drivers are just $199.99. You're saving $130. That'll buy plenty of balls with the special holiday offer on Titleist Pro V1, Pro V1X golf balls. Only $39.99. Every golfer needs to look the part. All in-stock clothing is buy one, get one half off. Or find gift certificates available in any amount. Make it a Merry Christmas at Rinley College Golf Outlet at the RLC Marketplace in Mount Vernon. Automart of Salem is your local buy here, pay here car dealer. My name is Matt Collier and I am the manager of Automart in Salem. If you're in need of a vehicle, no matter what your credit history, we accept all credit applications. You buy here, you pay here, it really is that simple. Contact me, Matt Collier, next to Schmidt Ford of Salem. Call 548-8611, find us on Facebook, or go to automartofsalem.com. Have the laws and regulations of the Affordable Health Care Act left you stressed and confused? I'm Shauna Armstrong with Page Insurance. I'm certified to help guide you through the health insurance marketplace. Let's talk about individual health care plans. Maybe you're self-employed or your employer doesn't offer health coverage, or it simply isn't affordable. I can help. Even if you're between jobs or not eligible for Medicare, I can help. Give me a call at 242-7000 or come see me at Page Insurance on Crown View in Mount Vernon. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac postgame show starts now. Shagdown Gymnasium sees a Rams win again here in 2014. 4-0 are the Rams at home this year. 34-28 the final over the Waterloo Bulldogs. We have more to talk about coming up on your Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac postgame show. We'll have a Bird Watson Pharmacy scoreboard, a Tony Wilt State Farm player of the game. And we will have scoring and stats. It's all coming up with Danny Zerwinski. I'm Chris Hugo. Seth Gass back at the Balford and Studio where we're going to send it for just a moment as we take a quick break. We'll come back with more. This is Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. Hi, I'm Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. I love this time of year, time that we spend with our family and friends, the lights and decorations, the food, and just the feel of the season. During this season, there are more smiles, more thank yous, and a general feeling of kindness and generosity that is not present as often during the rest of the year. There's a feeling of calm and hope. My Christmas wish for each of you is that you take the time to help others and share the blessing of Christmas with others that you meet each day. From all of us at Community First Bank, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The best magic trick of the year is the disappearance of the 2014 Chrysler Town and & Countries and Dodge Grand Caravans. Hi, this is Roy Schmidt, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealer at King City Chrysler Center in Mount Vernon. Right now, both the Town and & Country and Grand Caravans are disappearing fast. Most magicians never reveal their secrets, but I'm happy to tell you that right now the 2014 Chrysler Town & Country have rebates of $3,500 to $6,000 or find $3,250 in rebates on the Grand Caravan. There's really no magic, just honest savings. So buy now before they are gone. Don't wait. Come get your new minivan from one of our sales associates at King City Chrysler Center, 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois, or view our new and pre-owned inventory online at kingcitychryslercenter.com.
Make that Rams fan in your life easy to buy for this Christmas. Winning Edge in downtown Mount Vernon has an amazing assortment of apparel and novelties. Rams gear is perfect for a stocking stuffer or gift wrapped under the tree. There's plenty of orange and black for the men, women, and youth in your life with sizes ranging from 6 months to 3X. See the new fashions and styles at 212 South 9th Street in Mount Vernon or shop from anywhere at store.winningedgeusa.com. Winning Edge wishes everyone a Merry Christmas. Your home for the Mount Vernon Rams is WMIX Sports, powered by Community First Bank. Welcome back. Shagnon Gymnasium tonight. The Mount Vernon Rams victorious over the Waterloo Bulldogs. 34-28 is your final score. This is your Schmidt for Lake Cadillac postgame show with DC. I'm Hugo, and we're glad to be here with you as we have your scoring and stats in this one. Uh, Mount Vernon 7-21 from two-point range, 33%. 2 of 20 from the arc for 10. The Rams go 9 of 41 from the field for 22%. Waterloo 5 of 16 from two point range, 31%. 3 of 9 from the arc for 33. Waterloo goes 8 of 25 from the field for 32%. Mount Vernon 14 of 18 from free throw line, 78%. Waterloo only 4 of 9 for 44. Mount Vernon out rebounded Waterloo 28 24. And the turnovers, Waterloo had 15. Mount Vernon had 9. Scoring in the game, Rick Wigon led the way for Waterloo with 12. Max Schrader had six. Lance Miller had four. Troy Aldridge, three, and Ben Hules had three. Gilwan Nelson led Mount Vernon with 10. Braden Fitzgerald's had six. Bryce Hunter, six. Dylan Reeves, four. Shantez Taylor, four. And Luke Wilson, two, for a final score of Mount Vernon, 34. Waterloo, 28. That's your scoring and stats tonight. We have a little bit more left to do on your Spitz from Lake Cadillac postgame show. We'll remind you the final score right quick, as you just heard it. But Mount Vernon 34, Waterloo 28. We'll take a break. Come back. Your 20 Wilt State Farm player of the game is next. This is Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. Registration for spring classes at Rin Lake College is going on now. Rin Lake College can save you thousands of dollars and put you on the fast track to a new career or continued education with over 100 degree and certificate programs. Trained academic counselors will make sure you're on the right path, whether you plan to transfer to a four-year university or head straight into the workforce. Registration by appointment continues through December 23rd. Call 618-437-5321 or log on to rlc.edu. Rin Lake College, your journey starts here. At Vanterra, we understand that banking is a relationship. It's a friendly face that knows your name, understands your needs, supports your goals. Vanterra offers a complete range of personal and business banking products with competitive rates and loans that range from small projects to multi-million dollar opportunities. We offer conveniences such as online banking, mobile banking, and direct deposit. For a strong community bank with exceptional customer service, Vanterra is a smart choice for your banking needs. Vanterra Bank, a proud supporter of Southern Illinois High School Sports. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Happy holidays. This is Mike from Tyler's in Mount Vernon, and our family's third generation is proud to bring to you the most innovative car, truck, and SUV store. We appreciate your business. It's the totally new, totally Tyler's, and it's totally for you. Happy holidays from Tyler, Toyota, Buick, GMC. Exit 95, Mount Vernon, Illinois, or on the web at tylertoyota.net. Totally Tyler's. Toyota. Hi, this is your local State Farm agent, Tony Wilt, and proud supporter of the Mount Vernon Rams. Whether you are a new customer or one that has been loyal to State Farm for years, let me take this opportunity to thank you for your business. If you are not currently with State Farm and are looking for someone you can trust to handle your insurance or financial service needs, let me invite you into our office. You will have a local agent you can work with, backed by the industry leader in State Farm. Find us in the phone book, online, or flag the State Farm Jeep down if you have to. However you find us, we look forward to talking to you soon. This is Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Tony Wilt State Farm Player of the Game is next. Welcome back, WMIX FM, WMIX Sports.com, your special Lake Cadillac postgame show. With Danny Zerwinski, I'm Chris Hugo. Not much left to do here, but pick a Tony Wilt State Farm Player of the Game for one. It is Gilwan Nelson, would it not be? Had 10 points, led the way in scoring for the Rams, and Kind of really got Mount Vernon. He was able to get a few touches on the inside, got to the free throw line, and led the Rams. Get to a better state with State Farm agent Tony Wilt. He'd love to help your family with all of their insurance needs. Find him in his office in Mount Vernon. Find him worldwide at TonyWilt.com or track down the white State Farm Jeep if you have to and get to a better state 
with State Farm. One thing left to do here is the Rams beat Waterloo 34 to 28 is to give you a final Bird Watson Pharmacy scoreboard. Sisney beat Grayville for fifth place at Wayne City 56-54. Edwards County beat Wayne City 58-45 for third. Regular season, Altoff beat Bar Reef 78-62. Carbondale beats Carterville 68-61. Cahokia beats Evansville North 52-49. And in overtime, Centralia beats Highland 59. 46. Fairfield over Johnson City, 72-43. Nashville beats Benton, 52-33. End of three, Murphy over Sparta, 46-26. At the half, Mount Carmel over Aldi, 22-21. El Dorado over Hamilton County, 26-25 at the half. Harrisburg over DuCoin, 38-19 at the half. Frankfurt over Cesar Valier, 36-21 at the half. Pinckneyville all over Heron, 36-11 at the half. Chester beats El Verado, 75-39. Massac County at the half leads AJ, 49-31. And one girl score, Oakville beats Pinckneyville, 47-26. to uh, Your final score from here is 34-28. The Rams beat Waterloo tonight. That was the Bird Watson Pharmacy scoreboard. Two locations to serve you better in Mount Vernon and now more efficiently. All of the home medical equipment and scrubs can be found at 1200 Main Street. While all of your pharmaceutical services and products can be found at 3401 Broadway. Community First Bank of the Heartland presents all of Mount Vernon Rams basketball here on WMIX. Find them in five Jefferson County locations, Mount Vernon, Dix, Woodlawn, and Ida. And welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, that'll do it for us tonight. We're back on the air various places on the 26th. We'll have all of the Woodlawn, Waltonville, and Cester Valier games from the Cester Valier Holiday Tournament between AM and FM. And we will have all of the Mount Vernon Rams games from the Effingham to Topless Christmas Classic here on 94.1 with video at WMIXSports.com. First game for them is 1 o'clock on Friday the 26th. They'll take on Brooks Academy. 12.45 will be your pregame right here. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to those of you who accessed our broadcast tonight. We hope you'll give us a follow on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as a gift to us at WMIX Sports. For Danny Zerwinski, for Seth Gass, back at the studio, for all of us. Thank you for listening tonight. I'm Chris Hugo reminding you of the final score. The Mount for the Rams 34, the Waterloo Bulldogs 28. So long and Merry Christmas. Mount Vernon Rams basketball from WMIX Sports is sponsored by Community First...